coordinating chairman of PAP's town councils has defended the move to sell management software to third-party action information management, or AIM. Dr. Teo Ho Pin says there is no basis to suggest that the transaction was improper or disadvantages to the town councils. Dr. Cho explained that the 14 PAP town councils work closely with one another to derive economies of scale for the benefit of their residents. In this case, the town councils wanted to consolidate their software rights in a single party which would manage them on their behalf, as recommended by Deloitte and Touche Enterprise Risk Services. This is because having each town council hold IP rights to the software was cumbersome and inefficient. So, when the tender was advertised on 30th June 2010, five companies collected the tender documents. Only AIM submitted a bid. I just want to say that AIM participated in the tender, not knowing that other companies would not do so. The sums involved in this transaction are modest. But as a PAP company, we wanted to be helpful to the PAP town councils. So, we were ready to take on the task and submitted the proposal to help PAP town councils achieve their goals. Dr. Teo said the town councils wanted to sell the intellectual property rights in the existing software because it had limited value and was depreciating quickly. This was also confirmed by Deloitte and Touche. AIM was willing to purchase the existing software IP for $140,000 and lease it back at $785 per month from November 2010 to October 2011. The existing contract ended in October 2010. This yielded savings of about $8,000 to the town councils from the disposal of the intellectual property in the existing software. AIM was also willing to undertake the risks of getting an extension of the existing contract with no increase in rates and this was the most important consideration for the town councils as it protected them from an increase in fees. Also, Dr. Teo said AIM backed by the PAP would honour its commitments. Dr. Teo said in the end, each town council paid slightly more than $140 per month for AIM to ensure continuity of the existing system, secure the maintenance of the system at no increased costs and identify options for a new system to which the town councils could migrate.